Okay, so ngayon, let's go to our final segment. Ngayong 4.54 na ng hapon. Before 5.30, matatapos na rin po kami. So ito na po ang ating Voti Trivia Time. Yes naman! Ang Voti Trivia Time ay limang items lang po. Char. <laughs> okay. Kala ko marami. So handa na ba kayo? Sa ating first trivia. Yeah. Our first trivia. Eh, kanapin ko yung ano. ta The holiday goes back more than 2,000 years. Halloween all started as a pre-Christian Celtic festival called Samhain, which means summer's end, held around the 1st of November. It celebrated the final day of the harvest and the crossing of spirits over into the other world. People in Ireland, the United Kingdom, and northern France would ward off ghosts by lighting sacrificial bonfires and, you guessed it, wearing costumes according to history.com. Yan nga sa picture, oh, diba? Bonfire. Kaya pala orange and black yung uh, tema ng ano, Halloween. Ano? The fire, orange, the black, the darkness. Ganon, nag-explain. So matagal na to. At na, yeah. nag-wear din sila ng costumes noon pa man, 2,000 years ago. Gaya ngayon. Mm-hmm. Costumes kami. Oh, oh. To ward yes. up spirits by lighting sacrificial bonfires. Okay, that's number one. Number two? two. Sino? Si number Kate. two. Some Halloween rituals used to involve finding a husband. During the 18th century... Ladies would follow Halloween traditions that would help them find a romantic match. According to History.com, women would throw apple peels over their shoulder hoping to see their future husband's initials, competitively bob for apples at parties because the winner would be the first to get married, and stand in a dark room with a candle in front of a mirror to look for their future husband's face. Thankfully, those traditions have died out. Buti na lang na <laughs> Buti na lang. Parang I thank you. Parang I thank you. At talaga ba yung Halloween ritual? Maghahanap ng ano, mapapangasawa nila sa game? Ganoon. Yes, and ito din yung ano, yung sa modern na yung Bloody Mary or ano yun, yung hahawa ka ng candle on in front of the mirror. Oo, si Bloody Mary. Three times or twelve times pa yun. Hindi naman. I will not advise. I will advise, especially in the mirror, diba? Ito usapang ano, spiritual, no? Oh. Yung mirror kasi, yan, yan yung ano, kumbaga, uh, tinuturing na portal of uh, the other world to come oh. to this world. And if you, in, ano, if you uh, summon them, diba, with, the, uh, with those uh, words na binabanggit, diba, you might be in a great trouble. So, wag, buti na lang nga, natapos na to yung ganitong mga ritual rituals na ito. Okay. Share ko lang so, din. So, yun yun. Ano yes. yan? Hold on. Saan na rin? Sa spiritual something. May nabasa rin akong Sige, article. Sige, magkikwentuhan na, tayo. Ano, na parang kapag yun nga, may candle ka, tas gabi, tas nasa mirror ka, and then kapag tumitig ka lang na matagal, as in matagal talaga hmm. sa mirror, may possibility na may, ma- may makita ka talaga. So, sure. yun. Ooh. May nakita ka na. Talaga. Ayoko try na natin. Ayoko nga. Try na. Try na. Vote tries. Vote tries. Di mahirap yon. Vote ka tsaka to me. Pero before, um, oh, no. high school kami, parang tinry namin yung Bloody Mary, Bloody Mary, Bloody Mary. Oh, wala nang nangyari. Tapos parang so wala naman nangyari. Tinakot lang namin yung sarili namin. Tapos parang nasa, uh-huh. tapos kami ng CR, tapos madilim. Totalik school pa yan, no? Tapos <laughs> <laughs> sabi kami ng, ayun, nasa tapos kami ng mirror. Tapos ayun, walang nangyari. Ayun. Oh, yun so, kailangan rin i-share na yan si Bloody Mary pala na yan is based on a real person, si Queen Mary. Huh? Sa England, yes. And mm-hmm. she used to kill so many people na nag-o-oppose dun sa ano niya. Sa ano, mm-hmm. pagpapatakbo niya ng government Oy. or ng monarchy nila. Kasi she's um, a devout Catholic. And then yung dad niya si, nakalimutan ko na sino yung tatay niya, na naging na king then before uh, Protestant. So nung siya naman yung pumalit, gusto niyang i-erase yung um, na-establish na ng father niya. So ang dami niya talagang pinatay. Hence the term bloody Mary. Ayo. Wow. 
Nice trivia. Para lang ano, hindi naman mag-a-appear si Queen Mary kapag... Hindi <laughs> naman. Sinabi mo yung pangalan niya na paulit-ulit. Pero uh, nice to know pero sab- yeah Pero sabi nga, di ba, spiritual warfare, ito yung hindi naman natin alam 100% yes. yung mga bagay-bagay. Mm-hmm. If, although we believe it or not, pupunta tayo doon sa activity na yun na wala, hindi tayo ready. Hindi prepared yung uh, ating spiritual yes. something far. Yes. <laughs> okay, sige. Palitin ng music. Palitin music. May mga music eh. Okay. Let's go to number three. Trivia number three. Go. Okay, so for trivia number three, the record for the longest walk through haunted house is 7,183 feet and 8.4 inches. So that's nearly a mile and a half. The longest walk through horror house, which is indoors, measures 2,189.59 meters. And that's 7,183 feet and 8.4 inches. So that was achieved by Dragon's House of Horror, located in the United States of America. That's in Albuquerque, Mm -hmm. New Mexico, USA, as verified on November 3 of 2015. So this record took two years of planning to accomplish. Actually, yun na sa picture ngayon. Yan yung uh, Dragon's House of Horror sa USA. (laughs) Ooh. Ano nung pangalan ng movie? Hindi na kaya. Paano pa kayong papasok ka sa ganyan? Oo, kahit yung mga nasa, ano, Natakot kayo. Incidented or Star City lang, diba? Oo nga. Uh, natakot. Di pa, Paano ba? Totoong to- 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 haunted house yeah. talaga. Grabe. Yeah, or gawa-gawa so, lang ba to? Or haunted house talaga? Pero feeling ko haunted house naman talaga to. Oo. Oh, yung sa Insidious, o yung mga ano, hindi tayo nakapag-research niyan, oh. pero, yeah, <laughs> yeah sige. <laughs> Baka totoong tao, ay totoong to, 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 haunted house na lang. Pero, ay, hindi ko siguro kakayanin yan kung ako yung pupunta. <laughs> Nagulat ako sa <laughs> music. <laughs> Lugi nga ako pag pumapasok sa ganyan eh kasi nakapikit lang. <laughs> <laughs> Paano pa nakakalabas? <laughs> Sumisigaw lang ako, yun na yung participation ko. Sigaw lang. Ay, tapos na po. Hindi lang pa natapos ka na. Tapos na pala. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh. Nasa labas ka na pala. Sab- sasabihin niyo muna, hindi ako pumunta dito para makapag-away. <laughs> Ay nako. Sabi-sabi <laughs> po, mga ganun. Meron na naman tayong mga Halloween special sa TV, di ba? Maya-maya. Tsaka sa Sunday. Mm-hmm. Miss ko tuloy yung magandang gabi bayan ni Kabayan. Oh, talaga ang OG. Horror oh, special OG, ano? ng lahat. <laughs> ano na ngayon eh? Gabi ng lagim. Eight. Di ba? KMG. Yes. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Ayan. Si Ed. Gusto kong ang pag-usapan sana yung si mga ano. Si Ed kaluwag pala yun. Kaya nga nagaganang-ganang ako kanina. <laughs> okay, si Ed. <laughs> Hindi tumunag eh. Number four. Number four. Sige, number four. Turnips and potatoes were the original jack-o'-lanterns. Hindi pala Ooh. pumpkins. The practice of decorating jack-o'-lanterns originated in Ireland, where large turnips and potatoes served as early canvases. In fact, the name jack-o'-lantern comes from an Irish folktale about a man named Stingy Jack. Stingy Jack. Oh. Potatoes at turnips. Oh, ma. Potatoes at turnips. Ano yung turnip? Magalong turnip. Yeah, yeah. Ano, yan yung turnip, di ba? <laughs> Nakagawa na ba kayo ng mga ganyan? Di pa. Parang hindi. Mm, ginawa ko sa mukha niya. Choke. <laughs> Sama. <laughs> Masama. Masama. <laughs> Panakit? Panakit si Papa pala. <laughs> hindi yung joke lang. Mapagmahal ako, mapagmahal. Mavoting tao. Mavoting tao. Voting show to voting show. Voting show. <laughs> voting show to. Pero yun nga, no, turnips pala and uh, potatoes yung pinakaunang jack-o'-lanterns na uh, kini, mm-hmm. ano yan, carve, carve ba na tawag carve? dyan? Oo, yes. Pinakarve. Kung di malaman kung bakit kaya naging, ano, naging pumpkin na bigla. Pero... Oo, baka mas madaling, ano, tsaka orange naman kasi na si pumpkin. Siguro doon, nag-associate sila doon sa color. It's color. Ganyan talaga ni Papa Lim. Yes. Basic. <laughs> Pag-explain. <laughs> explain na. Marap, may explanation every time. <laughs> Di ba? Ala ko lang yun. Mm-hmm. Turnip. Oh. Singkamas ba yun? Ah, yes. yun. Singkamas. Oh, Satalong. Turnip. And eggplant. 
Ah, ganun. Eh, eh kung... alam ko na ba naging pumpkin? Yes. Ah. Ito researcher namin, no? How? How po? Ano po? How po? Next, <laughs> ano po? In Ireland, Hello, people started to carve demonic faces out of turnips to frighten away Jack's wandering soul. When Irish immigrants huh? moved to the U.S., they began carving jack-o'-lanterns from pumpkins as they were native to the region. So, dahil uh, hindi na available. Maraming so, pumpkin. Uh, I see. Ganun pala yun. Thank you so much. Uh, at least Thank meron tayong explanation. Thank you, Voice Serena. All right, and the last <laughs> trivia for today. Yeah, yeah and so Dracula yeah. was inspired by a real person. Though the mm-hmm. legendary vampire is a purely fictional creation, Bram Stoker, the original author of the novel Dracula, named his infamous character after a real person who happened to have a taste for blood. Vlad the Third, Prince of Wallachia, or as he is better known, Vlad the Impaler. The morbid nickname is a testament to the Wallachian prince's favorite way of dispensing with his enemies. So, Hulo? ayun na. Yes. Si Dracula pala ay... Vlad kasi. Si Vlad. Mm-hmm. Although hindi Vlad. naman niya, hindi katulad nung nandun sa usual ano pop culture na ang si Dracula, uh, di ba? Magbabite dun yes. sa neck tapos ubusin yung blood. Etong yes. si Vlad naman, parang panakot niya dun sa mga kalaban niya. Pag nakakahuli siya ng mga kalaban, ini-empale sa stick. Alam niyo yung parang mahabang oh. hole. Tapos parang mm. barbecue, nakatusok yung katawan ng, oh I mean, parang, parang barbecue, oh. human barbecue, kung barang. Yeah, lechon, nakatayo. Pero, uh, this is really scary kasi hindi sila agad mamamatay. So, they would uh, endure yung ganong painful death ah, for ilang for days sure. bago pa sila mamatay. Yes. So, kung may mga kalaban for sila sure. napapunta oh. dun sa territory ni Vlad, makikita pa lang yung mga kalaban na na-empale. Takot Ayaw na, na nilang tumuloy. Takot na sila. Oh. Yun. Ganda rin, ano, ya. Ganda rin. Mahilig sa pananakot <laughs> yung, ano, eh. Yung mga... Oo. Oh. Hindi <laughs> <laughs> ko naman binabalak. Eh. <laughs> Tinatakot. Hindi ko idea. Hindi ko idea. Hindi yung sa mga Halloween, ano, Ah, uh, ano tawag dito yung mga ha- ha- horror houses, maganda rin 'yon, no? Doon pa lang sa harap. Ay! <laughs> Pasok pa ako. <laughs> Wala na. Mga horror house na nanghahabol pa yung mga Yes. Nanghahabol ng text after. May ganun eh, 'di ba? Ay, ma'am, ako po yung sa horror house. <laughs> iba pala, iba naman 'yon. Ah, iba din, iba pala 'yon. Tapos pa signs of ghosting na 'yon later on. Ay, ghosting. Kumalo <laughs> <laughs> na naman tayo ng <laughs> Ay, ano 'yon, Jazz? Ano 'yon? Nangahabol talaga sa labas? Hindi, may ibang mga zombie-zombie sa loob na nahabol ng mga oh, nga. aggressive, oh, no? Grabe, oh, oh. aggressive. <laughs> yung iba nakatayo lang ganoon, nanggaganoon lang sila. Yung iba talaga may <laughs> ano, pahabol. Oh, oh, Sana all. Hindi, At least may nagabol sa'yo, di ba? Kahit pinag ka daw, sana. Sana all hinahabol. <laughs> Pero sana, wag naman zombie. Tapos nag-text sa'yo maya-maya, ay ma'am, ako po yung zombie kanina na humabol sa'yo. Dun sa home ay, house. Ay, <laughs> nalaman kasi yan, no? Kinuha sa lagpok. <laughs> Uy, bad yun. Invasion of privacy yun. Sa lagpok. Okay. <laughs> yes, kaya ni iba din may disclaimer bawal yung mga may sakit sa puso, etc. Oo. Kasi ma-trigger ka doon eh. Sobrang intense ng emotion mo. Pero <laughs> ako yun. Sira pa ko. <laughs> <laughs> Matatakot yung mga zoga. Ano <laughs> na pag na kayo kayong nanakot? Di ba? Pero saya siguro noon no. Oo, oh, manako tayo. Mag-prank. Hindi naman kayo magkasama lahat. Pero mga zombie run, gano'n. Oo. Gano'n event. Nakapag-try na ako eh. Wala lang. Ikaw yung runner, runner o ikaw yung zombie? Masaya naman. Oo, oh, natatakot ka naman. Hindi naman ako nasampal. <laughs> Nanalo ako. <laughs> Sumayaw. Ang? <laughs> ano yung sinayaw? Ang load. Wow. Hindi yung, ano, Cuba, Cuba. <laughs> Kampanero ko siya. Bakit sana, all, eh, kahabol-habol naman ang ganda. Ay, ay, ay. Ay, ay, ay. 
Ang iin. Juniku, juniku, juniku. So, yun po ang aming voted trivia. Oy, tapos na pala. Limang trivia para sa inyong lahat. Wow. Oy, thank you so much po sa mga kumapit na walong. Wow. Libo. Tapos ba yan? Walong. Libo. Ayun, nabawasan na tuloy. Ayun. Just gusto ko nga, ano, basahin yung old comment kanina. Hindi ko kasi nabasa. May testimonial kasi si Caroline de la Cruz. Sabi nito. Oo. Mama ni, ano? Yes, ako may naririnig palagi. Ginagaya yung ginagaya mga kakilala ko na boses. Nakakatakot lang between 2 a.m. to 3 a.m. creepy talaga. Oh Ala, Aliana. Kasi Aliana yan. Kasi voiceover artist siya. Oh. So, <laughs> <nag-voiceover. laughs> kasi Aliana lang yun. <laughs> Gano'n siya? Ah, siya. 2 a.m. to 3 a.m. <laughs> <laughs> Aliana. Aliana. Nakakatakot naman pala. pala. Voice of the Youth Radio Live Only on VGA Radio Saturdays 3 to 5 p.m.